say something traumatic happens to you, okay, something that's so overwhelming, so horrible, you can't handle it, you can't deal with it. During that experience, in order to survive, you will dissociate from it. If you've studied, for example, um, trauma when it comes to animals, there's a great book called Waking the Tiger. Write this down. Waking the Tiger by Peter Levine. He takes a more, you could say, down-to-earth scientific approach as opposed to the more spiritual approach. Okay? When it comes to releasing trauma, there's a lot of spiritual takes where it's like, you know, you're letting go of resistance and part of your soul is coming together in the spirit. And, and that's all great. His approach is, you know, he studied people who came back from war with PTSD. He studied how animals go through trauma. And what he says is, when you're faced with a threat that's overwhelming, you can't handle it. Say there's an animal and there's like some bear that's coming up to just attack the animal. There's the classic fight or flight, which you all know. But if you can't fight or flight, say the animal's backed against a tree or something, can't run, can't fight, the bear's coming in, they will go into freeze. And this is where they completely just disconnect from themselves, from feeling, from the experience. They just freeze and it's like the closest state to death in a way. Now on a strategic level, it's, I mean, what else are you going to do? The bear's coming in. Perhaps if it thinks you're dead, maybe it'll leave you alone, okay, on one level. But on the other level, if you're about to get ripped apart from a bear, it's just so much to handle emotionally, physically, that you completely disconnect. Um, you'll hear people talk about this, say, who've been abused. It's like they see themselves like from the third person, like they're on the, the ceiling looking down at the event that's happening. Um, so you go in this altered state, if you will, where you don't even feel it happening. Now, say in that situation, the bear is like, oh, it's dead, and leaves. Although it's a state that's close to death, internally, there's a lot going on. Like the nervous system of the animal is just supercharged. Okay, the bear leaves. After a while, the animal will uh, slowly come back, stand up, and you'll see it just shake out uncontrollably. Okay, it's discharging all of that <gasps> pent up, you could say, nervous system energy, of just being like, I'm gonna die, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And then it goes on with its life, its day, it's very present to the moment. Us humans, we're too smart for our own good, the mind will intervene. But what happens to us is that we never go through the process of discharging it. And then we just keep living our life that way, like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, nothing happened, I'm fine. Something else, I'm fine, I, and we're so tense and we get triggered left and right. It's like little things, ah, poke at it. It's like we're just never able to relax, even at home, like Netflix, I'm fine. It just eats you up inside, okay? Now, if you think about th that process, does going into that altered state help you? Does dissociating from the experience help you when dealing with trauma, when experiencing trauma? Of course. Of course it does. If something's too intense for you to handle, dissociating from it, repressing it, suppressing it, helps tremendously in the short run, during the thing. But after, once the threat is gone, it's time for you to process it. But no one teaches us how to do this. You look around, everyone's traumatized, everyone's stuffing it down. You ask people how to process it, they're like, here, drink, numb it a bit, here's some food, here's some TV, here's some porn. Okay, so there is a time to process it. When processing it, you have to go through the different stages of feeling it. It doesn't mean approving of it, by the way, and this is very important. When you hear me ask, can you forgive this person for X, Y, Z? It's possible that someone did something to you that is unforgivable. And the answer shouldn't be like, yes, I do. What they did was great. But the answer is, whatever gets poked at inside, release that charge. Release being run by that. If you hear, can you forgive that person? Every part of you is like, Argh! release that. This should not run you. You can disapprove of it. What they did could be unforgivable and wrong, but it should not run you the entirety of your life. It's like if I ask you about the food you ate for breakfast today, you're not gonna get triggered by that. It's just data. I ate this, right? That's what we're doing with all these things that get poked at inside. We release the charge so it just becomes data. Oh, do I forget that person? No. Do I approve what they did? No. But hey, just data. I'm free from it. 
It no longer runs me. It no longer has a hold on me.